Okay, here's what I've got here. I've got, it looks like almost about 60 PSI <coughs> coming in here off of the main source. All right, on my unit here, it shows, there it is at almost, uh, almost 60 PSI. That's what's coming off the water line, my direct source of water. All right, my unit I've got set up here where this pump is going into the main feed of the water going to my unit. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. When you plug it in, it starts running. Look at that. It took that almost 60 PSI and took it up to about maybe 110. And it's purring, I don't know if you can hear it. It's purring just right. If it's not, then you have to take a screwdriver and adjust the screw here on the side here, one way or the other, to make it purr like this. And you adjust this up here on top to work the same way. But it's running smooth, the motor's not getting hot, and look what it's doing. <clears throat> it's going through the whole system. And uh, well, right here it's showing uh, 100, well, about 110 going into the system. <clears throat> my, my valve on my pole is open and I still have a constant 40 PSI going through the line. <clears throat> we'll come over here. Here's my, <clears throat> here's my Gardner Supermax 45. And uh, it's got some air in the line. It just started running through it. But here in a second, we'll get all the air out of it. But you can see what I've got right there with it being all the way open. I do have, I do have valves in my line to shut off the flow going to it when I go and change things out or whatever. But I can't leave that thing shut off very long because it might build up too much pressure. So, it doesn't hurt for it to do it just a little bit, but then I, you know, open it back up. So I have to try to keep it running. So let's hook this on here. Let's step over here. Look at that. Need to adjust my head a little bit. We've got plenty of water for washing these windows. Now if I turn it off for a second, it's going to build up just a little bit more pressure. On the unit itself, I can see it from here. It's getting up there about, there's uh, close to maybe almost, almost 80 PSI. So look at, look at that. So what this unit does, it builds up your water pressure coming in to your unit so you have a good strong, good strong water pressure going through the whole thing. Can you see that? Well, that's pretty cool, ain't it? Well, thank you all for watching. Hope this helps you out a little bit. Okay, let me show you what I got on this one. This one here, I don't think you can or not, but the, uh, the pressure coming out of the main source is it's, uh, just a little above 80 PSI. And as you can see here, here it's showing about 80 PSI coming in. So what you got to do then, when you have a higher PSI of your main water source, then you got to adjust it down to, uh, you know, 
from when it kicks on, it's not uh, doubling up there in like 160 or something. So you decrease it and you adjust the screw on the side. And that way, that way you've got the, uh, the PSI where you need for it to be. I'll go ahead and plug it in. adjust it down and you decrease it it's leveling itself out a little bit here and it'll take a second I already had it running while ago and I already uh, had it adjusted so that the uh, PSI would be about right it's getting pretty close it's running nice and cool. Now, if you take a look here, this is the Gardner CL10 X10. Anyway, we got a good stream coming out of there. And that's with it running wide open. If you shut it off for just a little bit, just a few seconds, it will actually kick up a little bit more pressure. But you don't want to leave it off very long because it'll just cause it to uh, build up in your back here in your pump so now what I'm doing is I'm taking that 80 psi and we're just bumping it up it's about 110 in that area and feeding it through the whole system over there and you can see you've got a good stream so how's that look that looks like it's pretty good to me So this pump is really cool. It just takes your main source and bumps it up there. That way, that way you've got the steady stream going through your whole system and, uh, and it holds it there for you all the way through the whole system. The only other thing, you know, with that, I shouldn't have any trouble at all hitting up to 50 foot in the air because a while ago I was using that uh, that Supermax 45 and I was had to extend it out almost all the way doing some slanted windows up on top of that building of that before and it had plenty of pressure to do that now if you need more pressure that again is where this other unit here where you can add into your line like 100 psi here and the way I've got mine rigged up I've got it set up where I can take that other psi 100 psi disconnect here stick it in here and it adds more pressure to my RO if you need to get it up higher Keeps you a good steady 100 psi running through your, the rest of this. But you can see here, it's showing about 110 coming in. I got a pretty good low flow coming out of the off the uh, reverse osmosis, and it works really well. I think it's an awesome little unit. It runs cool. You just want to make sure it's. When it's running right, it's purring and it's running cool.